Alright, so we're here with Ishi at Neuro Convention. Ishi, your spinal cord injury is what level? Yeah, I'm T11 complete. T11? Oh, if it's complete, we'll just find that out in a minute. Okay. So we are doing innervation diagnostic for Ishi to, to, to see what kind of muscles are in fact innervated. A lot of the times with spinal cord injuries, it's hard to determine whether they are full or partial. And you do that with EMG. You can do it with needle EMG, obviously, at a neurologist's office. But if you're in rehab, you can do that with devices like Luna or Stella, where you'll actually work with surface electromyography to see what kind of activity are in the muscle. So we've connected most of the most of the uh, leg muscles that we see that that should be used. So quadriceps, ab abductors, um, we did calf and we did shin, uh, and you'll be able to see how they react on EMG. So it's really important to start off active treatment with patients um, that can have muscular activity, and with EMG we're going to do that now. Let's start off with uh, electrical diagnostics. Sorry, sorry. Not a problem. Can you just Okay. So the idea behind this is easy, easy can easy. Easy can be sitting down on the wheelchair, we can sit around on the chair as well. But what we're trying to do is determine the difference between full relaxation and full flexion of the muscle to see if there is a difference in electrical activity. If there is a difference that directly correlates to what Easy is doing, then we know that the muscle is innervated through her motor cortex. So motor cortex connects to the spinal cord, spinal cord connected to the muscle. If we detect it here, that means that the whole neural pathway is working, to some extent at least. So we can do it sitting down like this for comfort. I'll be helping out here. And we have the and we have the electron uh, figure there. So easy, could you please try to lift your hand uh, lift your leg up with the knee? So that's so if you look at strip, do you have like as well? If you look at the leg, it's not really moving and that's okay. Um, but what we're trying to assess is whether the electrical activity in the quad is actually present. So the fact that there's no movement, we're going to be working on that. But we want to analyze the EMG. So we have, in full relaxation, it's roughly one microvolt plus minus half. So it's not that much. So I'm going to be asking Izzy to flex, so to, 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 to straighten our leg. And we'll see if there's a difference with electromyography to determine whether innervation is, is present. Okay, so if you, for Paul, if you point at the screen, and Izzy will try to repeat that as well. So we'll try extending in three, two, one, and there you go. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax. There you go. So you've went up to 15 microvolts. It doesn't sound like very much, does it? It, it actually does. Okay. So if there was no difference, we would know. We usually start off with patients like yourself, which would have like one microvolt plus minus half for noise, and with the command of flexion, they'll do like uh, half a microvolt, one microvolt, and they go into three. It's really, well, it sounds like not a lot, but 15, that means that you're innervated in your body. As easy as that. So I'm not saying that we know that you're going to be walking in there, but it means that you have enough innervation to start actively working out with Luna, which we're going to be doing in this moment. Right, so that was easy with quad innervation diagnostics with Luna EMG. Alright, so we're with Easy here. Uh, and we diagnosed the uh, quads and the abductors already, which both are innervated, so both generate response based on what Easy is doing. Uh, so uh, whenever she tries to flex, they actually respond and detect that on EMG. Uh, and we're doing now the cuff and the uh, shin muscles uh, that are here connected on the channels. Here. And at the back. Yeah. So for those muscles, we will do the same thing. Uh, so if, if you would be so kind to uh, try to lift your uh, lift your foot up, we'll try that first. Three, two, one, and go. Go, 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 go,
signaled, and that's on the on the shin muscle. So that would be the white signal. Let's go again. So let's try to lift in three, two, one, and go, 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 go. All right. So that's an example of a muscle that that has that is yet to be innovated. So what we usually do with, with patients like AZ suffering from spinal cord injury, most of the innovation will come by uh, starting from the top uh, or, and go more peripheral. So usually quads will start off first, quads, abductors, hamstrings, and then it goes down. So while we see innovation in the, uh, in the quad and the abductor already, to see innovation in the, in the lower part of the leg, so hamstrings, uh, are, sorry, so, uh, so the shin and the cuff, we would need to, well, we would suggest electrical stimulation first, and when we see progress, so more tingling, more, uh, more blood flow, more innovation, we can start actively there. So now we have the whole leg diagnosed for innovation, and we can start uh, to see what we can do actively with Luna for the exercises for the quads, hamstrings, and the upper legs. So we have Izzy actively working with, with Luna now. So we have the lower limb extension connected to Izzy's leg. And we're working with the quadriceps that we've diagnosed to be innervated as a trigger for the movement of Luna. So when Izzy is going to flex the quadricep, uh, her limb is going to be assisted, her knee rotation is going to be assisted by Luna to perform active exercises. But as long as Easy is relaxed, nothing is really happening. So it's not passive movement. It's not something that, that, that's being done automatically. But rather than when Easy is trying to do it, so let's try to lift your leg up now. Luna is assisting with that, but only if Easy is holding the contraction. So while relaxed, Luna will go down. And while Easy is contracting the right muscle, Luna will actually go up. And only then, while the contract contraction is held, it will move. How about you, Easy? What 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 do you think about Luna now? I think it's awesome. Oh, that's nice. It's active therapy. So with patients like Easy, with spinal cord injury patients with stroke, we can get up to ten times more motor recruitment uh, than we would with manual therapy like PNF or passive therapy with other exercises. All that with Luna, where the patient is actually performing the exercises themselves. If you could tell me, what did you think about Luna? I was really surprised by, um, by Luna, and I, I knew I had some sort of flippers in my muscles in my, in my leg. But I didn't realise that you could pick up on that so easily and, and, and assess like the strength and the, and the potential within the muscle. I also thought it was really interesting to see how quickly I got tired in just doing that, the one motion with the, with the quad um, and, trying to, and trying to hold that uh, reflection, if you like, trying to hold the, the intensity through the muscle. You know, I was like barely moving for well, 15 micro volts or something. Right. And, and trying to maintain that was, was really difficult. So I'd be really interested to, to keep working with it and keep building some strength and see where it progresses to. We're pleased to facilitate that, of course. We didn't do much, so we didn't do games, for example. That's that's that's. Did you tell me how games. Uh, why did you? Why did, yeah, absolutely. Why did you come back after EXO? If you're still I not that tired, we'd love to. I definitely, I definitely will. Yeah. Will. Uh, so, uh, if you if if you can compare like a little bit, um, how you would work with, well, how is your experience working with Luna in comparison to other uh, therapy that that you're undergoing? Um. I think this is definitely more like forward looking. So the, the therapy I'm doing at the minute is very much like for now. So physical fitness and strength, my my shooting, uh, and I play wheelchair rugby. So it's all kind of like uh, trying to focus on the muscles I have. Whereas this therapy very much feels like it's it's progressive. It's looking forward to to what I could have in the future, um, and it's looking to, to build on what I might have lost to be able to regain, rather than just focusing on, on what I have done. I think I think that'll be the main. Lovely.